I would not like to um, define the different challenges because I did very hard rock climbs in the Dolomites. Later on I did the highest mountains of the world but I was never keen to do them on the simple ways, I did the most difficult ways. And on the end it was more um, the style which was interesting me. And afterwards I was lucky to go to the South Pole, to the North Pole, I crossed Greenland, I crossed the Gobi Desert. And in the moment I am challenging a new uh, big problem, uh, building up a series of museums to tell about the mountains generally. And also this was not so easy because it was very costly and politically not easy to realize. You have to know that each generation has to uh, invent the new challenges. Uh, I did not climb for the next generations, I did it for myself. So the climbers before me, they did their uh, alpinism, I did my alpinism and the next ones they will do their alpinism. So alpinism will be forever. If young people are able to understand, they should not only repeat what we did, they should invent something new. It's a question of um, fantasy and a question of creativity to go further, to approach the mountains in a different way. There are a lot of good climbers uh, today, on rocks especially, also on high altitude. I think the best climber in high altitude in the moment is an American, Steve House. Also a Slovenian, uh, Thomas Huma is very good. But there are now perfect and great climbers all over the world. Climbing became a global activity. Fifty years ago, only the Central Europe climbers were really uh, famous and good. The Brits, naturally, also some Japanese. But today we have good climbers in Israel, in South Africa, in Spain. We have a lot of good climbers. Also, the Portuguese are becoming climbers. So, all over the world there are young people, they are interested in join uh, these expeditions to go to the mountains and they have all the possibilities we had to go to high places and in difficult uh, uh, walls. I don't think that we were able to save the mountains. The politics are very complicated and uh, if you see Europe in Europe, in the European Parliament, there are 700 uh, deposits in, people in, but 99% are coming from the cities. So they have no interest to defend the mountains. We have to do it. And today I say that if we like to defend the mountains and if we like to give to the young generations in the mountains a chance to stay there, we have to take responsibility by our own for a valley, for a piece of land, for a farm and for maybe a ski resort. I was never against tourism. I only thought that we have to find a coalition uh, between the people living in the mountains and the people liking to invest. And especially also the wild mountains, they should be wild also in the future. So I make a clear line between the high places where we should not go and the classical ground where people since thousands and thousands of years went to get woods and to get grain and to get some pasture for the, for the cattle. And there we can also walk with different uh, systems. Today we live in the Alps, in the Pyrenees, in the Sierra Nevada, out of tourism, not anymore of agriculture. But agriculture will be also a base for tourism if we combine it in the right way. And for my person, I took responsibility for a few farms in South Tyrol, where I am bringing further some new, I would say, symbols of, of um, uh, landscapes to show how we could walk in the future. Uh, the National Mountain Museum project is more or less a, a cultural work I'm doing. This is a help maybe for general uh, tourism in our country, in the small South Tyrolean country, but has nothing to do with agriculture and tourism. has to do with tourism on a part, but there I would like to bring uh, home my, my knowledge. All what I know about the mountains I put now in, in a museum so many people can understand what mountains are meaning for human beings. Mountains are more than only a geological fact 
and more than a possibility to climb up. Mountains are something religious, uh, divine. They show that there is a possibility to go from earth to heaven. We will never reach heaven, but there is a, a possibility to, to go high up to see everything from above. In the, in the moment I'm going to Patagonia, Patagonia is a beautiful country, and I will cross the Yellow Continental Norte, it's a small ice cap. I didn't know yet, and I will go in three weeks uh, to cross it. Um, I go quite everywhere, in the Hima every year in the Himalayas. I went with my family a few months ago to Nanga Parvat, but I am not anymore going to the highest places and not anymore going in the most difficult walls. I am too old for it, and I accept it. Uh, the mountains for me in my age are growing, they are becoming bigger. And the deserts which, which I cross, they are becoming also bigger. So I agree that I have to um, approach smaller mountains and smaller deserts. And if uh, I would reach with 80 or 85, whatever, I don't know what my age will be on the end, a uh, 3000 meter peak in the Pyrenees or in the Sierra Nevada hiking up, I would be very lucky. I was beginning as a five-year-old child on a small peak and I will hopefully end on a small peak.